Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my indices uh, and metals uh, forecast. So first of all, what I would like to say that last week we had uh, uh, finally we uh, had some retracements on uh, indices on all of them. Uh, you see here DAX, so DAX drop uh, pretty nicely and we had also opportunities to jump in into this uh, in, into this uh, retracement. Yeah? So we discussed many, many times that <coughs> indices are going up uh, without any retracement and finally we have this retracement which is really, really strong like usually do, uh, in the indices. Yeah. So let's see what we have on DAX. Last week we said about potential long scenarios or short scenarios here and this was because uh, we were on the 36 EMA so we could expect that price will continue with this up momentum which we had from uh, previous weeks or finally we will get some retracement back to the daily 36 EMA and as we, you see on the daily chart we have even bigger drop right now yeah so retracement is coming from the weekly uh, time frame right now not from the daily Yes, you see how big red candle is right now. Of course, um, so so this is what we had, uh, and what we what how we could join this uh, trade. As you see here, we had this trendline breakout. We didn't have any continuation to go long, uh, but we have uh, one hour chart, short one to three. Yes, uh, setup. So <clears throat> as you see, if you jump in here, your entry would be around nine hundred points. And if you trade your stop loss above the 36 EMA, right now it will be here. So it's like around 60,000 uh, points. Yeah. So it's like um, it was. It's like like, like a five, six, six more times. Yeah. Your uh, target, which is still uh, dropping. Yeah. So we had this option, but if you even miss this opportunity, you could also uh, look for another setups. Yes. You had here. You have one to three. You have another one to three here or here. And you also have option to jump in here. So market will give us a lot of opportunities last week to jump in. Of course, here was aggressive entry. Yes, this this would be aggressive entry here or here, simply because we were around the daily 36 EMA. And usually what we would like to do is to wait for potential uh, breakout of the 36 e uh, EMA. Yeah, so this would be aggressive. But if you don't want to jump in here, you had option really nice to jump in here. Yes, another short one to three. And this also would be really nice. This would be the, the most conservative option here because uh, this was after daily 36 EMA breakout. Yeah, so we could say, okay, if we have continuation, this is our next target. You see this, uh, those are the supports which we draw last week. And on each support price reacted. I never changed the lines. Yes, this is what I would like to say. But I didn't change the lines uh, for the video. Those lines, lines are the same like, like last week. Uh, so you see uh, price reached this area which is daily 36 EMA, and we had reaction. Yes, we had hesitation here. At this level here, uh, how we can trade, because daily is pointing up, we can draw trend line. We sim simply say, okay, whenever price breaks up or down, we would like to take our uh, sen scenarios. Yes, because this is decision level for potential continuation up or a bigger retracement. And in this case, price just broke the 36 and support went down, reach our next support level. We had a reaction, we have one to three. So when you jump in here, you still have to remember if or check if your risk reward is uh, good. Yes, so here, because our target is uh, this daily 30, uh, daily support zone. Yeah, um, so you have to check, but in this, uh, this case was okay. But you see that we can draw the lines, but if price gate momentum, it's dropping like, like crazy, yeah? So, so that's why, that's why we, that's why we need to have trading plans and um, and trade with with them because we never know what kind of the reaction we will have. Yes, yeah? sometimes around this level, you will get breakout and price will continue uh, to retest the uh, the resistance. Other way, we will get this bigger retracement. Yeah. Uh, so you see, this was really nice option uh, here. So let's uh, and 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 uh, basically. Uh, a lot of a uh, lot of things change right now because of this big drop. So I will delete all the lines and we will go um, to higher time frames to make top down approach. Yes, because this is the time where we have to figure it out what we can have uh, in future. 
So uh, basically, we discussed that bigger retracement will happen at some point. Yes, maybe this is the beginning because we had really, really strong move uh, right now. Uh, but in the past, you also see that we had uh, strong moves and then price started to continue. Yeah, uh, but we had also situations where we had a big drop and then a bigger re uh, retracement. Yeah. So, uh, what we have? Uh, let's draw next support zone, which is quite strong on the on the weekly chart. This is our support zone. Uh, we don't have any any history. So basically, the lowest point, historical point, where we have a lot of spikes and a lot of reaction is here. Okay. Um, so because you see, if I zoom out previously, price reacted around this quite uh, quite strongly. So this is our uh, strong uh, level. Um, so those are weekly levels, of course, resistances on the previous tops, but right now, because we have this red, strong red candle, maybe we'll have this a bigger drop or at some point retracements on the lower time frames. weekly trend line. Yes, it's here. So basically, um, we can say that trend line was broken, but if we draw on the lowest point, this is the line. So price still have still have room to go because if we connect lowest points, we cannot draw a nice line. We will see that this line was broken and anyway. Okay. So those are the, the, the levels. We go to daily chart and we would like to see more uh more um details here so we see quite strong uh candle. So this is area where price might react. Okay. So we can have situation that price will drop here. And from this level, we will get some retracements. Yes, uh, retracement can be to the resistance, but right now, basically, price broke everything. Uh, but this is still resistance level. Yes, for us, uh, if price decide to break this and the momentum uh, continue, we have another daily support somewhere. We have basically here, but better is here. Okay, this. This is better, yes. But here, still, price made some spikes, made some reaction. We don't have any history here, so we have those those levels. So those are the levels where price might to react. Okay, the strongest one, of course, is this from the weekly weekly chart. But we don't know how price will go there. Uh, if we see, uh, you know, like a big drop and price will go straight forward, or we'll have some hesitations around those levels here. Okay. Uh, so right now, uh, 36 was broken, strong red candle, possible retracement. So the, the plan is simple. Any retracement for us is to sell. Okay, This is our four-hour chart trend line. Uh, so any retracement right now, uh, any retracement to the 12, uh, to the 36 EMA, to the trend line, to the resistance, you see that momentum continue to drop, you sell. Okay, and if we go to one hour chart, exactly the same. Any retracement right now is to sell. So I wouldn't try to catch any long trades right now uh, against main direction because the momentum is strong. I would patiently wait for the uh, retracements and then sell. When we can catch the trades against main direction, when the price will reach support zone, and at least we will have one hour chart trend line breakout. Yeah, so if you see that, okay, price is uh, pushing down, it's going down, it's reaching strong support, you have breakout of the one hour chart trend line, and you have enough room to the next resistance together with the 36 EMA, then you can try to look for uh, long entries against main, main direction. But use low risk simply because uh, momentum can still last. Yeah? So, so you will be trading against really strong, strong move. Okay, so this is uh, this is DAX. So any retracement is to sell. Okay, and now we go to Nasdaq. And Nasdaq, last time we said about uh, options to go long simply because uh, simply because price was pointing up. Yes, and we see that price went up a little bit, and then we, uh, it started to retrace. Yes, so um, what uh, what could happen here? We could try to look for short entries against main main direction to target daily 36 EMA together with the trend line on the Nasdaq this strong this move was not so strong like on the DAX uh, and what we had we had the option to go here short yes you see one hour chart trend line breakout and the uh, first setup on the one hour chart okay but price didn't continue to go immediately to this level. So if you pay attention, entry here, stop loss, or entry here, stop loss around uh, 12, uh, 
uh, 11,000 points and the first target would be hit. Yeah? So if you trade with the two targets, it's like a win-win scenario. So you would be kicked out with the spike. So break even trade. Also, we had option on the four hour chart, uh, but if you trade on the four hour time frame, you need to pay attention if you have enough room to your next target and your next target is daily trend line together with the daily 36 CMA. So entry here, stop loss above, it's like 15, thousand and you see that price reach even two targets yes around 33 yeah so so there was enough room to take it on the four hour chart okay so if you if you take this trade leave it uh, or you can close everything around the 36 but in case of the bigger drop you will be away yes and there is still option for bigger retracement also on nasdaq uh, so what we have on nasdaq uh, this is weekly chart so we still don't have any strong candle uh, but uh, of course we don't have uh, resistance levels uh, but price might retrace to the day to the weekly 36 cma uh, the best line which we have on the weekly chart is this so this is together with the 36 ema next strong support is here and the stronger one is somewhere around this area between those highs in this this low okay so we go to daily chart uh, so what can happen uh we can have you know this is our daily trend line so um it's still pointing up basically yes the weekly and daily chart is they are still pointing up uh so basically if you are not in this in this um in this short trade here uh you have to wait for breakout of this of this area okay so the most conservative way is to wait for here breakout and here and then below this you look for short entries you can try to target this support and if price breaks this line you wait and your your goal is on the resistance up, up here okay we have a smaller resistance here uh, also where price might react okay so this is those are the areas where you have to uh, check but you can also for intraday traders scalpers you can also trade in this area just simply wait for retracement and when re retracement will happen you will get bounce on the 36 or this trend line you look for short entries and you target this this uh, trend line here and if price breaks this you will get next next levels yeah so this is what we have on nasdaq us 30 also big drop here and we said that we would like to see breakout of those two areas uh we didn't have any setups here and here the breakout was strong uh so it was you see on the one hour chart we didn't have any any options uh let's try to check lower time frames but lower time frames all, also nothing yes five minute uh so unfortunately the drop uh, only five minutes yes you see if you would like to you know this would be your aggressive entry because the, the retracement to, to the 12 only five five minutes uh, so nothing on the higher time frames unfortunately uh, so what we can do next you see that price uh, broke this level and uh, a little bit react on this but it looks like it's breaking this so let's go to higher time frames and make our top down approach uh, again on this uh, it's similar to uh, dax because we have strong candle here uh, and weekly chart also we have red candle yeah so this this give us um, like a like a probability that we will get this uh, retracement uh, so what we have we have support area here uh, we have uh, do we have anything else we see that don't we don't have the 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 historical high if i can say it's somewhere around this level so we have a lot of room we can go we can go down okay um so let me just draw any trend line on the weekly chart so this is together with the 36 ema so it's not clear trend line so we can go to lower time frames to see what is there uh, so on the lower time frames we see that the strong support is around this this uh, level and of course lower okay around those spikes yeah right now we have strong momentum uh we had the resistance sorry support zone here but price you know you see it's breaking this so it will be the same story like on dax because the momentum is strong right now daily trend line was broken because you know daily trend line was broken 36 cma was also broken so right now it's pointing down so um we can try to catch this momentum yes so basically uh, this is our four hour chart trend line. So any retracement for us, it's option to sell. So uh, retracement to the 12, to the 36, to the trend line, you sell. OK, 
okay? One hour chart, exactly the same. Any retracement uh, is option to, to sell. So you can just simply wait for the retracement and whenever the price retrace, you can catch entries on the one hour chart or you can combine this with lower time frame uh, or scalping or uh, intraday trading, okay? So this is, uh, this is what we have on, on US 30. Uh, silver is another uh, so is the next one is so what we what we said last time that we would like to see breakout of course of this trend line because mt4 sometimes changed the lines but this was our breakout and what we see here uh, though those are levels from higher time frames in case of the breakout and continuation and this is the level from uh, in case of the breakout of this trend line. And what we see here, price broke it and reached our level here, okay? So uh, why uh, we discussed about uh, breakout simply because we were between two lines. Right now, it, it's, uh, it looks like a short weekly one, two, three. So we might get continuation to this level maybe, yes? Uh, for now, it looks like this. Um, so price broke this this trend line we didn't have continuation of this of this possible long scenario on the daily chart yes no continuation so what we can do we can re delete all those lines because they are uh, we don't need them anymore and we are right now here around this support okay so we had breakout uh, do we have any entries here let's see for our chart nothing and one hour chart there was one entry here entry here stop loss Above. Okay, so this would be winning trade. Um, this would be around 30 points. Yes, you see 90, 100, and price reached this uh, this level. And then you see we had another option here, but it was too late because our stop loss would be around 40 pips, 40 points, or maybe not. Maybe it will be still okay. Okay, because we have like 40. 542 and our support is 40 41 so it was still okay to trade trade this but if you trade like that and you see that you know price is close to the support zone but is not um, it's not breaking or it's not touching you can simply uh, try to close your target manually yes because we know that support areas are always you know zone okay this is not only the line this is always zone uh, so you could also try here and right now what what we have price reach support zone uh, our daily trend line is still you know we can even draw it right now like this okay um, price broke 36 but reached support zone okay so what we can have we can have continuation of this down move and price will go to this level or we will have bounce of this support and we will, we will go again where we can go again to this trend line together with the resistance which is here okay so maybe we'll we can get like a range later on something like this okay so right now it's uh, decision level um of course we can still sell after retracement yes as long as price is below this line yes if we are below this line here we can sell okay so any retracement to the 36 to the trend line you see the reaction you sell where is your target this support zone okay and also on the one hour chart, you can do the same, but the thing is that we are close to the support. So only scalpers, intraday traders after retracement, yes, you can look for short entries here and you can sell and you can target this, okay? If price breaks one hour chart trend line, you can aggressively look for trades against main direction and target four hour chart trend line, and then targets are from higher time frame. okay? But this will be aggressive because you trade against, okay? Uh, against, and there is no confirmation yet if price really would like to go higher, okay? Uh, of course, if price breaks uh, this, yes, if we see that the momentum uh, is pushing down, you just wait for one to threes and you want to sell, okay? So this is our silver, gold. Gold, last time I said that I'm not interested to trade gold because there was nothing special, but we still draw levels um, and we, we said, okay, how we can trade this? We said about the breakout of this range and price broke this range and went down to our levels, yes? Our levels, which uh, were here, this was like a daily 36 EMA, 
together with this trend line, we can even see that price uh, broke it. Uh, there was no entry on the one hour chart, yes, as we see here. Let me just delete right now those lines. Uh, so, but this is sometimes when, when we have breakouts, yes. Uh, 15 minutes, maybe, we will see. There was something on the lower time frame, so we can just on the 15 minute we had yes because if we extend this, we had here and here okay so only lower time frames right now yes so we had also you can have uh, you can draw a trend line which supports yes supports this you see here here okay so uh, this was a quite good trade because around 70 75 points and if we, if we manage this on the 15 minute chart we would get like 400 points yes so uh, four times more even more uh, i have problems with math today <laughs> uh, but you can do your math uh, 70 75 uh, 450 yes so so it's it's like uh, it's uh, quite nice risk re uh, reward okay uh, so um so what we can do right now let's let's uh, let me so only lower time frames no higher time frames sometimes if we have breakout on of of the range not this uh, you can just, uh, for example, if we if we say on the lower, um, if you don't have one to trees, because sometimes breakout is happening, you know, just like this, price is dro dropping without any retracements. Um, you can always, for example, if you have breakout, wait for candle which is closing below uh, in the strong way, and you can place stop loss above the previous stop. Okay, so if you like, you can also trade like this. Uh, this is also good option uh, or lower time frames. Yeah. Lower time frames because uh, sometimes we can find there one to three. So what is next on gold? I'm still not great fan of gold to be honest. Um, I don't have right now idea or uh, what what can what gold can do. For me, gold is in the in the range, not in the trend. Uh, so basically, uh, this is our next. This is our next. Uh, we are around the support, yes. If you pay attention, yes, there, there, there is some support level somewhere around this zone. Next area of the support is down here, and the next one is lower. Okay, so because we have right now momentum to go short, and also our small trend line basically uh, was broken. But if you draw on the level on on the lows, this trend line is holding. And if I don't have any that, and it, when I cannot. Uh, identify direction. Uh, I always um, draw also lines on the bottoms, okay? Because usually I draw between body and tails. Uh, but if I don't have clear idea what price might to do, it's also good to draw on the bottom. So you see that price is right now on the trend line. So that's why I'm not a great fan of gold right now. We can draw this line. And for me, we are still in the range. Uh, if the momentum to sell uh, will last you can look for short entries uh, here and target this uh, and if you would like to trade in this area you wait for breakout of this four hour chart trend line and then you have to wait for uh, long entries and target this and then if in case of the breakout you have this okay so this is what you can do but i would stay away from from gold oil oil is also making retracement finally yeah, uh, so it looks like this resistance holds. So this retracement, uh, of course, we said about the retracement because simply um, you see what what weekly chart is uh, is showing us. Yes, only only up move. Yeah, so the retracement definitely. Uh, will happen at some point. Of course, uh, we never know when, but uh, we had good reason to have it because we reached uh, historical highs okay, of the oil. So this was good reason for the retracement and price dropped quite nicely. So what we have right now, uh, we are on the weekly 36 EMA uh, together with the support area. Okay, you see that this is, this is support zone on the weekly chart. Next support on the weekly uh, strong uh, is around this, this level here, I would say somewhere around this area or even lower, but right now we have this, okay? So what can happen? Uh, because uh, 
we have also the trend line. So we see that we are on the strong level right now. Tre weekly trend line together with the weekly support zone. So we can have situation that price will stop here, will react and will continue to go up to retest the resistance or we'll have bigger drop. Yes, because price make big, this big retracement We'll have a breakout of this, price will continue to go down and maybe even go a little bit lower, maybe even to this uh, to this support area. Yes, if we go to monthly chart, we will see that on the monthly, yes, uh, there is also a chance that price will continue even lower to this level, okay? Uh, or to this. So there is, there is room uh, for this. Pre previously, when price reached this, you see what happened. We are here, okay? So we will see what uh, happened now. Uh, uh, right now, the, the retracement started, but we know that we are uh, around the strong level on the weekly chart. Okay, so because of this, uh, let me just unzoom a little bit uh, daily chart. So we have that. Uh, this is daily trend line right now. Okay, so uh, the right now any retracement short. Okay, short entries. Uh, your because if price stops here and we will have some retracement your goal is still here. And in case of the breakout of this, then you can target that, okay? Because we can still have situation that price will stays here and then we'll have breakout continuation or breakout and continuation here. Uh, or we'll have even, you know, something like this between support, okay? And then again, breakout, continuation, breakout, continuation. So right now, uh, just look for retracements and sell, okay? Don't look for any trades against main direction, no point. Uh, and you just look for the retracement and sell. Okay, so this is what we have one hour chart. If price, of course, breaks this, uh, will continue to go down. You wait for the retracement, you sell. Okay, then you have next targets. You have this target and this target. Okay, so you can, you know what to do. But right now, uh, retracement and sell. And last is Bitcoin. Bitcoin, uh, what we said last time, uh, breakout of this trend line, breakout of this support zone. And then, of course, we can go long and we can go short. Uh, this is our extension of the trend line because uh, price never broke. We had like a false breakout, then price went down. So we have this. So we can look for lower time frames. And we said that this is uh, important area simply because uh, price is uh, on the support. We can have bigger retracement. Uh, to the weekly 36 uh, EMA here. Uh, our daily trend line is here. Uh, so retracement can happen also to this level. Price was in the range. So basically right now price broke support level and broke this uh, area of the wedge. Uh, so basically uh, we can just look for, we have this. So right now we cannot draw uh, to the tree line. Yes, we don't have uh, one to three. So if how we can trade this, uh, we can uh, look for, uh, for example, for a breakout. Yes, we can go, just go to lower time frames and try to catch some uh, one to trees on the lower time frames like this. Okay, or even 15 minute chart, but after breakout of the sub support zone. Or a four hour chart, um, if we see that prices, you know, is ranging a little bit here together with the 36 EMA, with the extension, we can place pending order here and stop loss above the 36 EMA. And if price decide to go down, then our um, or order will be triggered. Uh, pay attention to the daily trend line because this is uh, looks uh, nice line. So what can also happen that if we reach this level, we can have bigger reaction and price might go again to this to this zone. Okay. If we see breakout of this, then we can look for short entries to target this uh, support zone. Okay. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope this week will give us uh, same nice move like last week. Yes, we had nice momentum. Uh, so um, plan your trades, uh, set your alerts to do not miss nice opportunities, which we have, especially on indices, uh, because when we have re retracements, we have, when we have drops, as you see, they are pretty nice and we can really have nice profits. So thanks again. Um, enjoy your week and hear you soon. Bye.